welcome to episode 4 of Ask Addy Bowler Bloke. And the first question comes from Gemma Louise Deary and she says, question for both of you, where do you think Blues will finish this season? I reckon four. Well the questions aren't for both of us are they? Dave's got enough fame already. In answer to your question Gemma, about eighth or ninth. Adam Barton, is it true you Addy Bowler? I didn't, no no no, just a bit of regular food poisoning again. Adam Murphy says, what are your thoughts on the Greek situation? It's bad. It's not good. They took that vote the other day, didn't they? Um, it's just not right, is it? The, the ordinary people shouldn't have to suffer the consequences of people above them. I feel it for the Greeks. Tony and George from the Chipping. You know, my heart. I mean, actually, no, sorry, they're from Cyprus. Fuck them. Alex Comerford, he asks, what do you think of Carl Oyston? Uh, I don't really. I don't know too much about him, he's a twat. Do you think Birmingham is more of a northern or southern city? Who's that question sent in by? Oh, sorry, that's by Gio Sherrard. That's a very, very silly name. Um, but it's a good question. Like, I would say that, like, I mean, geographically speaking, we actually are south, but culturally and everything else, we're very northern. But the, to be honest with you, though, Sometimes the Northerners have a bit of a chip on their shoulder. I don't like the South either. I don't like the East or the West. Um, I really just like Birmingham, to be honest with you, in the West Midlands. Do you love being from Birmingham? I do, actually. We need more local pride. We need more people like yourself. Mm -hmm. James B says, who do you hate most? Leeds, Watford or Milton? I need one winner. Watford all the way. I don't hate Leeds at all. And Milton, as you know from previous videos, I respect But Watford, I fucking hate them. Jakey C10 says, what do you think of Rowett's signings this summer? I'm going to be completely honest with you, I don't really pay attention to this sort of stuff. We're not going to have signed anybody big. Um, so, yeah, I'm sure that Rowett knows what he's doing now. I don't know, I'm sorry about it, I can't really answer that one. A question from Adam Guring. Is a Jaffa cake a biscuit or a cake? They put it in the biscuit section of supermarkets, don't they? So you'd think it is, but then obviously the title's a little bit misleading. Do you know what of all the... Yeah. You're saying it's a biscuit? I think it's a biscuit, yeah. It is, because it's the kind of thing that you'd serve with biscuits and... It's, it's a soft biscuit kind of time. I don't know, soft biscuit. I always have that Soft biscuit. Yeah. I'm from office. West Brom. What do you think about West Brom, the long way? Yeah. Good West question. Brom, West Brom is one of my favourite places in the world. Yeah. Sam Fowler says, what are your views on the rising price of train tickets despite the stagnant level of service? I actually feel really strongly about this, it's an absolute disgrace. So much money and such a shitty, shitty service. Greg Holmes of Bromsgrove, ah, my arch enemy's back, okay. What are Norwich's chances of Premier League survival? Very good, because they've got a good manager. When somebody wins the playoffs, and then the interview afterwards says they were actually disappointed not to go up automatically. That's belief, that is. You could even see surprise Europa League place. Greg Holmes, Bromsgrove again. What's your favourite spell? Um, on myself or I don't know, Links Africa. But in general, I'd probably go with uh, a not quite ready chicken dancer. <laughs> Are you happy with that answer? <laughs> Question from Jake Taft. What are your thoughts on the England ladies third place finish and our very own Karen Carney? Karen Carney, um, I don't really know too much about, but obviously... She uh, plays for Blues. Well, I know, but you know. It's the women's game, innit? Fair play to the England ladies. Absolutely brilliant and, you know, completely put the men's team to shame. But everybody's slagging off that Laura Bassett for the own goal. I'd like to know who was cutting out that cross. They are to blame. Whoever you are who wasn't actually cutting out that cross, you and only you cost us that World Cup. Hang your head in fucking shame. Josh Hudders. What do you think of Tottenham? I like Tottenham. I've always said Tottenham. You don't like Arsenal though, do you? No, I hate, really hate Arsenal. Mitchell Stringer, which sounds like a porn star's name. On a scale of, on a scale of 1 to 10, what's your favourite colour of the alphabet? Um, I, um, I'm just wondering what, who do you think is going to be remembered in this, this year? Um, Good question. Yeah, it is. Uh, Pete Sampras still play. Well, from Star Bridge, um, Sue and Bob. 
We're looking for somewhere to eat. We saw these two good looking blogs. I heard the accent. The question is, where can you get a Chinese buffet? Well, ignore the fact that I've spoken very badly about Chinese buffets in the past on previous videos. I, right now, all I care about is helping our guests here. So, you go right here. Down the ramp. Down the ramp. Yep. Follow the road to the bottom of the hill. You've come to a major set of traffic lights. Turn left and you are basically in Chinatown. Good. Take your pick. We'll try but, it. But don't go to the big walk. Don't that is, no, don't go there because that's given me food poisoning three times. Excuse me, where is the Birmingham Cathedral? Birmingham Cathedral is situated directly down that road and on the right hand side. You can't miss it. It's surrounded by grass and people taking their lunch breaks. Jack Forrest says, Would you agree with the theory that marriage is an outdated social construct that further encourages capitalism? What a question. Um, I suppose it's hard to get on with one person, and that's in any walk of life, not just marriage, but... What encourages capitalism is divorce. Because divorce actively encourages people to chase materialism, money, possessions. You know, when really we should be chasing love. Uh, we're here with a random member of the public named Susanna. Where has the water gone from here? So we're in Birmingham, everyone flocks here, the people are taking pictures, stories. And we've got that. Well. <laughs> are you disappointed by that? Yeah, it's disgusting. What you can go into that spot. Next question comes from Owen Smith and it says, what are your views on the Joey Barton rumour? I don't believe in it. I don't believe in it. I think that whatever you think of Joey Barton, he's a controversial figure, but I think he's, he's as straight as they come. Footballers are always going to be spotted in this or that club. I know that much. Just because you're spotted in one particular place doesn't mean that you are that way inclined. Oscar Mailer, what are your opinions on Leeds United and Massimo Cellino? I like Leeds United, but I don't like the chairman. Well, I don't like chairman at the best of times anyway, but I think it's even worse when they come from abroad and start messing with things. Like that Vincent Tan with the, uh, the colour change. It's ridiculous. The next question is a good one, and it's from Dale Johnston. If you actually had hair, where would you get a haircut? I would just do it myself. You can easily buy clippers from Argos. It takes a lot, you know, to keep something like this uh, looking as good as this. Bradshaw Lewis, who would win in a fight, Alex McLeish or Lee Clark. Hopefully, Lee Clark. The Ash is here. Good luck, England. Fucking hate the Aussies. Half an hour for food. Fuck off. Half an hour for food. There was barely anybody in there for fuck's sake. Let's go to Nando's instead. Next question from Ali Ascot. Should American football be banned? Uh, if you're talking about the NFL, no, the NFL is absolutely brilliant, but the American Soccer League, yeah, about it. It's, uh, I don't like it. American football's brilliant, though. Jason Tan, uh, Vincent's nephew. Is netball just a retarded version of basketball? Uh, no, it's, it's a female version. And if you want to start saying that females are retarded, then you go ahead. Pietro Bellotti. What are your thoughts on the We Don't Care About Carson song? It's timeless. It'll, it'll live on forever. All we care about is BCFC. The next question is from Fred West. Which part would you choose the most inbred? The most inbred. In third place, Suffolk. In second place, I would say Watford. And the top one would have to be, uh, and I hope I'm not offending anybody here, but King Standing. Are you offended by that? Good. See, she's not offended. Bradshaw Lewis. Is that the wrong around? It should be Lewis Bradshaw. Thoughts on how pointless the Scottish League is? It is a bit pointless ever since they uh, booted Rangers out. That's all I'm going to say. It's bad enough when you've only got two teams that are going to win it. It's even worse if there's only going to be one team. And it's even worse when it's Celtic. Who do you hate more, Celtic? or Watford. Celtic are a big club, bigoted as well, let's be honest. They're chanting about terrorism, but I still hate Watford more. Have you played a What's going on there? Apparently, 
they're actually turning the fountain into some kind of garden because of a leak. And that's ridiculous because on a hot day, where are we going to go swimming? When they have the fan park, when there's major tournaments, where are we going to jump in in celebration? It's not the same, is it? Jumping on grass or palm trees. Complete waste of council money, if you ask me. Thank you for that question. You're welcome. Jack Forrest, if quizzes are quizzical, what are tests? You know the answer to that one. I like that though, very good, very good play on words. Next question comes from Luke Hatfield. It says, who is your favorite ever Aston Villa player? Well, not really any of them, but I suppose if we're being technical, Craig Gardner, because he, he, you know, he chose right and saw the light. Thank you, Luke. Villa bastard. I've got to keep your voice down because we're in a shop here. Luke Hatfield again says, how should I go about removing spaghetti stains from my pants? Uh, just take them off. Just take them off and just, you know, be proud. That's a question, that one. James Robert Hatcher says, Nike or Adidas? Uh, the... I don't really like either of them. I mean, I'm, traditionally, I suppose I've probably bought more in the way of Nike stuff. They're both ridiculously priced. But I find that probably Adidas is easier to shoplift and get away with it. Does that mean that they don't chase you because the quality of the products aren't as good? I don't know. Probably we'll go with Nike. So where is the best place right. for Birmingham to pull a bird? First of all, I don't really like that that term bird. I think that's quite degrading actually. I prefer skank. I would say that I find that bus stops, trains, these are very, very good places. You know, the ball ring obviously there's a lot of people, but I find if you go out into the suburbs that can be quite good. Nightclubs are good, but then you really might catch something when you when you look at the level of uh, and I don't mean to be disrespectful, so, but the level of slags that are out. Don't get involved with women that are out there flaunting it because they're normally the most prudish. Um, it's really your librarians, isn't it? It's your school teachers, it's your your civil servants, it's your single mothers are always good as well. They tend to sort of feel a bit washed out and will accept anything. <laughs> and I can sense that I'm going to get into uh, a bit of trouble for the controversy of this, so I'm going to stop talking. Thank you for that question. James Evans says, how many sheets of toilet roll should I use for each wipe? This is a good question, this is, because I find that a lot of people don't wipe properly. I'm a fan of normally getting like nine squares and folding it three times, so you're getting like something quite thick. And you've always got to begin with a finger up the ass first to get the very worst out. The rule is, use as many as, the, many as you need until when you're eventually wiping, you're not even seeing a slight discoloration to the white paper. Sometimes, obviously, if you're in an emergency situation, like if you're having a shit in the woods or something like that, or just in a park where you sort of have to crouch down, yeah, it might only be that you could, you know, I mean, I, generally speaking, carry some toilet paper with me. Because you never know. It's always best to be prepared. Rick Smith, what is your favorite all-time NBA starting five? Uh, sorry, I'm actually needing the toilet. Um, yeah. Gary Payton. Michael Jordan. Larry Johnson. Patrick Ewing at centre. I'm going to have to go. Charles Oakley. <laughs> Really good. It's right, yeah. Debbie. That's the famous Debbie from Davo's Diary. Blues away day atmospheres are always great. Would you consider coming to one with me? If you're worried about being recognised, we can always disguise you as a woman. Debbie, there's something keeping me from going to the games right now. And when that is cleared up, I'd be more than happy to join you for a game. I've seen you on the videos and you don't seem like a psychopath. So, yeah. Another question from Debbie. And it says, what are your opinions on the latest budget? Is it fair that benefits are being cut to fund a rise in the minimum wage? Well, this is why I'm not in power. I don't know. The tax office think I'm dead anyway, so you know, this is completely, completely irrelevant to me anyway. But thank you for the question, Debbie. From Ryan Deary, what came first, the chicken or the egg? Chicken, obviously. Um, you okay? I, I am absolutely fine. Um, 
I would like to say that the Big Wok in Chinatown is an excellent, is an excellent restaurant. And I would recommend anybody to go there. And the food poisoning that I've suffered there on three occasions was probably due to underlying health conditions rather than the food itself.